Hello, my name is Dwight Ralston. I am, I'm gonna do it over because I messed up. <laughs> Hello, my name is Dwight Ralston. I am the community liaison at Planet Detroit and the head trainer. And we are now in Planet Detroit, standing in front of our pit rack system. What fills my day predominantly is finding ways to take what we do here at Planted and either help raise awareness in the community to either um, be able to take what it is that we produce and give it to the people who need it the most. So that's really what I do most of my days, looking for potential partners, people who do things that, you know, how we do it may not necessarily in the same method or the same technology, um, but really bridging gaps and bringing people together. Okay, so we sell to almost anybody who can find our website and wants to purchase our products. We have people from all the way in, I believe, like St. Clair Shores. We have people from around the corner. So those are the people who are purchasing um, our greens and our salads. Um, and honestly, that is one aspect of our community. Um, that would be like our customer community. And then we have the actual physical community that is around us. Um, we have a partnership with the Downtown Boxing Gym. We give them donations. We give a couple other organizations um, donations from the things that we grow and actually make here to be able to repurpose those and either feed people who need food or um, at least be able to build curriculums, whether it's a culinary curriculum or, you know, nutrition curriculum. Um, and really, why is awareness about what we're doing here? We make nutrient-rich food here. And it's not really touched by anybody, so that's a definite resource um, for this community and doesn't exist anywhere else. Being around farmers, being around people who grow things, um, in the traditional format, you're definitely putting your hands on stuff, you're definitely getting in the dirt, you're definitely packing stuff up, and really all hands on deck. When it comes to things that we grow and produce here, it is definitely different. The stuff that we grow here, like I, like I said earlier, is not touched by anybody, so we use gloves, um, and everything is clean at all times. Um, we obviously put on garb and come in here, boots, hair nets, everything, and really take the maximum amount of um, precaution to make sure that the food that we're giving people is as clean as it is here until it touches your tape. So people buy from our website, people buy from, I know we have Uber Eats, DoorDash, different, you know, different ways that people can actually find us. And then a lot of it is word of mouth. You know, people will come and actually purchase a salad from us, taste it, tell their friends, um, or we'll go out, you know, donate a couple salads to a couple community organizations to raise awareness, get people to try the product that we're having, that we're, you know, producing and selling to people, and then they take that, you know, and like I said, it's a lot of word of mouth. People really speak well about our product, and I think it speaks to how much stuff we do to make sure that it's clean and make sure that it's presented in a way that we would accept. Originally, that is not what we were doing. We were selling wholesale to um, different chefs and people who were very interested in um, the things that we were growing. Uh, of course, pandemic happened, and we really changed up how we engage our customers and how we bring to them what it is that they're looking for. So instead of them, you know, buying some of our greens and buying some another person's greens and taking it home and making the salad, we just make it for you here. Uh, we have lots of different flavors and different types of salads that we actually make different flavor profiles so that's really like the gist of of our of our ready to eat salads it's really ready to eat you don't have to wash it you don't have to you know go through any other process at all and i think that's what people really enjoy about our product i would like to share just a brief history of island view island view was named island view or branded island view in the early 2000s um, and it was really a blank spot on the map and I think that Planet Detroit carries the Island View spirit in the sense that Island View was named so that it could be recognized, so that it could be set apart and different from other communities as far as how we do things, as far as what it is that we wish to accomplish. And I think Planet Detroit is a farm, but we are a very, very different farm and we have an exceptional product. So I think that just speaks to where we are and being in Detroit where everybody's moving and shaking and doing something. Nice.